So I found my first project car and then started from there. Craig Chesley began restoring classic Mustangs over 20 years ago during the cold of winter. For early Mustangs, you can almost build a car from parts. They make almost every piece of this car uh, that you can buy brand new. That's how big this hobby is. Mustangs are one of the most popular cars to refurbish, but ones in good condition are becoming more rare. In order to restore an antique car, you've got to have a vision as to how beautiful an automobile can become, starting with something like this. You start with the structure. You want to make sure that the car is not rusted completely through and that the frame rails and the, all the structural parts of the car are sound. A successful restoration begins with a plan before you disassemble the vehicle. And you want to make sure that you bag and tag all the parts so you know what parts will go where when you start to put it back together, because you will not remember what you did when you took it apart. Well, it takes several times longer than most people estimate uh, because things just don't ever go as you plan. The most fun part of a restoration is when you get one back from the paint shop and it's freshly painted and you start putting new parts on it. A drive-out price that can cost thousands of dollars, but the results can make it all worthwhile. You really can't describe it because you put all this blood, sweat, and tears into the uh, project, and it takes months or years to complete. And then when it's finished, it's a culmination of all that and the pride that you get from showing it off and enjoying driving it. I think these cars will always have a value. They may diminish somewhat over time, over the next 20 or 30 years, because the new generation didn't grow up with them like our generation did. But as Craig wraps up his latest remodel, he's already thinking about the next one. If the restoration bug bites you, then what you want is another project. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith, and that's my story.